In rural Colorado, when spring drags itself from the bowels of winter, the prairie dogs hold tight for the ride. The seasonal shift is obvious because the back roads become littered with the tiny, lifeless bodies of the prairie dogs. And you'd think they'd learn. After 15 of their dumber relatives have had their guts spread and steamrolled within a single quarter mile stretch, why do they still scamper stupidly into traffic when those great metal predators hurtle towards them on the semi-truck buckled street? Why do they not flee back to the safe confines of their holes? And what is so goddamn important on the other side of that divide that they just had to risk life and limb to get it? They can't possibly all have some great love on the other side of that divide, waiting patiently, hearts crushed as lovers perish. But then again, maybe they do. Maybe something crazy happens every winter that separates all the young prairie dog lovers to polarizing sides of the road. And so, as spring is sprung, knowing the risks, <coughs> knowing the danger, those fools can't not try. But some of them must make it, right? Because there are always more fools dead on that asphalt every single spring. Someone has to be bumping pretties to fuel that rate of annual death, right? <laughs> and isn't that kind of beautiful? <laughs> that love begets death and then love refuses to let that morbid love child stop it. Maybe my concept of beauty is different than yours, but that's pretty goddamn cool. In rural Colorado, when spring drags itself from the bowels of winter, prairie dogs hold tight for the ride. So, good luck to you, my hopeful prairie dogs. But just so we're clear, I'm not swerving into a ditch to avoid you. You gotta earn that happy ending. <laughs> oh.